What's going on everybody? The Germ here at Legoland New York. Gonna check out some updates here as well as meet up with someone from the uh, Lego New York fans page. All right, let's go check out what's new and meet Brian. Just underneath Brad the dinosaur are these construction workers and uh, I'm gonna ask for this guy's help a little bit. Now, if you've been here before, you've seen the Lego Land map. Before, Lego Pirates was shaded out, but now we can go check it out. That's where we're gonna be heading if I can uh, figure out how to fold this map. Oh wait, I think I got it. I think I got it. You guys should have seen my struggles about a minute ago. Oh, no, I'm still struggling. I don't, <laughs> I don't get this. Got it. All right, now through the magic of uh, whatever you want to call it. Look at that, perfect. I got it all folded up. Honestly, I just grabbed another map. <laughs> hey, buddy. See you here vlogging, too? See that? You run into other vloggers here at the park. Let's go ahead and head into the big shop. Now this store is super cool and with your Lego pass you get 10% off most of the merchandise in here. But I want to show you guys something cool. If you guys ever watch the show Lego Masters, the season finale, right here, can't see, right here, season one's winners. That's, that's what they built. How cool is this? So when you come here, make sure you don't miss this because this is a really cool piece of TV history. And of course this aired on Fox, it's still on. I haven't seen any of the episodes from season two, um, be perfectly honest, but there's a little information about it, and uh, built by Amy and Tyler. So, I love this thing. How the heck did they transport this thing here? It must have been really difficult. I bet you a lot of pieces broke off. They probably had to put it back together. Always need to find new Legoland merchandise. Look at this Dragon Tail blanket. This looks pretty cool. I don't think this will work for me. I think I'm a little bit too big, but it, it still looks pretty cool. Here's who we're meeting up with, Brian. I don't know if you want to be on the video. If not, we can edit it out. Yeah, sure, man. I'm glad. Awesome. So we met Brian. Brian, let's do a quick interview uh, about the Facebook page that you guys are running. <laughs> That's a Lego guy. It's not Brian. He's trying to do one cuts. Brian loves this uh, umbrella thing. So there's there's the one and only other lady. <laughs> He's responsible for that, definitely, 100%. Uh, I also want to add that she is matching and I am matching. Oh, you guys... That, uh, that is the rule. You guys coordinated yes. colors as well. Go on Amazon <laughs> and get some crazy, ridiculous umbrella. That's my plan. You're, you know, I see you but like uh, Captain America, but you're becoming you're becoming Spider-Man because you have a spider yeah. crawling on you. Or sweat There's man. a big spider oh, crawling around you right there on your... Good. He's on your arm. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, everybody. This is Brian. Brian and uh, Brian and I have been trying to get together for the last couple weeks now, and uh, Brian is the one of the admins on the Lego Facebook fan page, correct? Correct. And you, it, it's grown quite a bit. I think I joined. It was like less than a thousand people. It was a couple hundred. I looked today. It was fourteen thousand four hundred subscribers. Nice, nice. I'm glad to see that. I'm, I'm I'm happy that it's growing. I want to thank everybody out there that's contributing. Uh, the admins, we're doing our best to try to keep up with everything. And I'm just glad to see that it's going to keep growing like that. And it's awesome because you guys have, uh, you really, you know, like people like myself, like you, you've been here way more than I have. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> going to admit to the amount. I will tell you, I think Brian O, the other Brian with an I, uh, has been here more than me. Wow. Which is scary. <laughs> and we're, we're big, you know, it, if you guys ever watch Lego um, Masters on Fox, there are a lot of adults that play with Legos including myself and... Yeah, not, not, not as much recently, but in, in, back in the day, uh, I had my fair square at a building with Legos and big Tupperware containers of hundreds and thousands of pieces. I keep yeah. buying sets, but I don't put them together. Yeah, I should probably start <laughs> buying sets. I think that's something I'm gonna start doing with my son. He's two and a half, so a little bit small for him now, but he's got uh, Duplo and he's got some of the other mega blocks and stuff like that. He really likes it. Awesome, yeah. so let's, let's talk a little bit about the um, 
the uh, Facebook page. So the Facebook page has been very informative. It's helped a lot of people out. It's actually, I think, also helped the park out because... Oh, yeah, big time, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've been reaching out to a couple of leaders here at the park who have expressed uh, thank yous and gratitude to everything. Uh, of course, it is a big company and big corporation, and we are just doing our best fielding questions, uh, grievances, uh, legit issues with the park that they are trying to get remedies as fast as possible to. Including my first one I want to introduce to you, my good friend, the Umbrella. <laughs> he's yeah. trying to start a trend here. He thinks I'm, he started. I'm trying to start he thinks this. he started the whole thing. Uh, I, I thought I was going to be the only Umbrella <laughs> in the park, but there is one down the hill. There's a lady that has a blue one down the hill. Uh, I was here all day yesterday uh, and, and got burnt, and I applied sunscreen multiple times until they build facilities and structures and shading adequately this is going to be an umbrella park i'm going to help you out Sean. and, and they're and they're there they're getting and they're getting there because it's not going to affect the lighting too bad <laughs> and they're getting there because you know what you have a choice would you rather have all the rides or just shaded areas well they did all the rides and yes. i'm okay with that and then the shaded areas will come at some point and and we'll get there yeah i have a feeling i'm going to talk to facilities today i'm going to try to reach out to uh, some model builders today and get some more information on a few of the issues that are going on with the park and see how fast we can get those resolved um, especially down in the Miniland area and then the playgrounds obviously I think those are the biggest ones for the kids at their target uh, demographic age yep yeah what do you go say we uh, check out the uh, newest section pirates let's go get wet <laughs> so when you guys come in the park one of the things I'm gonna recommend is check out the creative workshop uh, right when you walk in walk past the carousel and after the big shop there's a design bill and then a creative workshop and that's where you should probably go first if you want to do this because classes fill up rather quickly i haven't done this yet so we're going to try sign up for it today all right here's the creative workshop we're going to go inside oh thank you very much all right guys we're all signed up what are we doing uh what's a workshop it's a workshop and we're doing the eracers yes. so we got in 11 30 and uh, I don't know what we're doing but we're gonna do it we are all signed up and eventually we're gonna head into here and we're gonna be creative I don't know exactly what we're gonna do I think we're gonna build Lego race cars and it's gonna be super awesome nice this is a uh, first mate Axel did you got you make that name up yourself that's my name oh <laughs> I love the uh, <laughs> I love the wave is that the Lego wave? It's a minifigure wave. And you do the uh, you do the help of design adult? Uh, I did help to create some of the classes here, yes. Oh, cool. Cool. We're doing the racers. Are you going to be doing the racers today? I am not. My friend Test Track Speedster will be doing the racers. Test Track video. Speedster. Awesome. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> this is Alberto. Alberto, are you going to be our teacher today? I am. All right. We're super excited. I don't even know. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, you got to come into the class and see. Are we allowed in? Yes. Come right, on in. Let's go in. All right, here's, here's me and Brian. There's the uh, other parents there. Good. And then all the rest are all kids. It's just me and Brian. I wish some of these guys would sit down and help us out. <laughs> so I was hoping that maybe you guys can build me a car that's fast and sleek and helps me zoom through Legoland and win the big race. Can you do that for me? Yeah. yeah. You can? <laughs> awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys bricks and you can take them and dump them in here. Here we go. You can be your own Lego master. All right, we're going to build a car here. we got to get my uh, season's password. You've got it. All right, and Brian and I are going to build our own cars, and then you guys can tell us which car you like better. Okay, guys, so we're all done being creative. We're not going to tell you whose car is who, so what I'm going to do is to identify these. All right, I didn't want to identify whose is whose, so in the comments below, let me know whose is better. You got the... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six passenger one. Or you got the uh, double windshield with the satellite dish on the back and the rim up here. Uh, this one's got a palm leaf over here. Let me know what one you guys like. Identify it below with the uh, in the comments with either purple brick is the better one or the yellow brick. You guys don't know which one is mine. Just tell me which one you guys like better. Look at that, there they are side by side. All right, this gives you guys a side profile. Let us know in the comments below. We want to know. Inquiring minds want to know who's got the better Lego racer. 
lady over here said the kids have better cars. I gotta admit it, they do have better cars, but we were kids once too. Once <laughs> Germ actually had hair at one point when uh, he was a kid. And we're all just big kids. Hey, let's be creative, let's have some fun, right? All right, guys, don't forget to stop by here and see my friend Alberto and uh, build your own custom race car. It was so fun. And who won? Purple or yellow? What's purple or yellow, right? <laughs> yeah, who won? yeah, yeah, yeah. Who won? I don't know. At least the other car, they made, and then there was the I not could bring so cool friends one. with me. Yeah, no. he, there was one that he could bring friends. We're not going to say whose car was who. <laughs> Take care, them. buddy. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right, that was super fun, but don't forget, guys, like I told you, if this is something you guys want to do, make sure you book it in advance because it fills up quick. And I would recommend it when it starts getting hot out because the air conditioner in here is pumping. It worked awesome. We are heading through Miniland, down to Pirates, and this is the newest section, not Miniland, Pirates, that has opened here at the Legoland Park. So you just head down the hill here. All right, Brian's got supposedly some inside information. Next year, they might have cable cars here. So he says they're gonna go right down the hill here. We'll see, I don't know. We'll see, check this out in 2022. Let's see if that, that actually happened or not. We noticed a lot of shaded areas have been put up here. There's been a lot of umbrellas. And I, I noticed one thing here, Brian likes to fix things. So there's this, uh, got this. <laughs> you got this? This one doesn't have a uh, umbrella. Oh, perfect. It's a... Uh, for the kids. For it's the for the minifigures. <laughs> it's so your minifigures don't melt. I got it. Done. <laughs> Just stopped here in Miniland. Look at the little city bikes. This is the uh, New York City section. They got the city bikes there. Pretty neat. Good detail, right? Uh, this, this is downtown. Here we are at the Freedom Tower. Freedom Tower. And I took some pictures here. And it's amazing how real this looks in the video. I don't know if it looks that good right here, but I've took some, taken some photographs of this and it looks so real, it's unbelievable. Look at this, they even have the uh, Memorial Fountains where the Trade Centers used to be. The attention to detail is pretty spectacular here. There's the subway station. You know, he, I think he really thinks he's the one that came up with that umbrella thing. I really, I really think he does. <laughs> All right, guys, we're down at Miniland, and we are with Annalise and Mackenzie down here at uh, Miniland. And what do you guys do here at the park? Uh, so basically what we do is we give 30-minute-long um, Miniland tours. We have a bunch of, like, trivia and fun facts about all of our locations here in Miniland. It's a lot of fun. Hidden so, secrets that everyone not. Hidden secrets? Yeah. All right, hold on a second. Okay. Give me a fun fact. Um, so actually right here uh, is our Freedom Tower, and it is the tallest structure here in Miniland, standing at 27 feet tall. Wow. And it, you know what, I'll tell you what, I've taken pictures of that thing, and I actually fooled people. It looks like real if you take it, it really from does. the right angle. And so you gave me a fun fact, and give me a secret. So if you head back up to Midtown Manhattan behind, there's actually going to be a few Broadway shows, like Thawed, Amnesia, and maybe a Shoe company you might recognize. Psych. Just kidding. Dang, we're gonna have to check that out. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. We're in Washington, D.C., and it's the Cherry Blossom F Festival. I've actually been in Washington, D.C. for the Cherry Blossom Festival by accident. I went to go meet another YouTuber, and uh, I couldn't find a hotel room. So if you ever go for that, don't go uh, randomly. Make sure you get a hotel room first. But here at Legoland, you should be fine. I never realized you could see Chicago from Texas, but now I now I see it. That shows you how, how tall that Willis Tower really is. And look at this, you don't have to go very far if you want to see a muffler man. They got a giant muffler man here. It's holding a hot dog. Alright guys, we're standing next to Kit. And Kit, what do you do here at Legoland? Well, I'm up here to uh, get the rest of the models lit up and get some animations working. And and you work at another Lego Land Park traditionally? No, I work in a model shop in, in Florida. It's about 20 minutes from the Lego Land Park in Florida. So you're probably used to this warm weather, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our first look at an active pirate's land. Look at this, explosions going off all over the place. Look at all this, this is brand new. It's all opened up now. July 9th was the opening date for this section. And uh, yeah, we don't need this fire today. Definitely hot enough. 
but watch out if you see a random tent in the woods there might be an alligator in it some new games here there looks like a oh then someone just won and i missed it looks like a ball game and also a shooting game so they got a new water shooter down here and you could win the little mushroom guy what's his name help me out somebody write in the comments below you could win a nintendo character or a princess peach down here i like the prizes uh, here's the newest ride. Oh, just scared myself. <laughs> so Brian's got some kind of a uh, priority pass which allows us to skip the line. I've never been able to do that. So that's cool. We're going to take advantage of this. Now here at Legoland, they don't allow POV. So no cameras on the ride, no GoPros. So this is going to be about the best view I could give you guys. And of course, it's got to be a spinning ride, which you guys know I love. <laughs> All done with Rogue Riders. I'm sorry I couldn't take you guys on, but these things are actually pretty cool. I've never rode anything like that before. They looked uh, to me a little childish. I was like, uh, I don't know if I should be riding this. It's like a little kid ride, but it was actually very cool. You do a little drifting. It was a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, we're gonna go down and record, so this way uh, you guys could see what we were doing. Some kid lost his hat on the ride, and it's delaying the ride for other people. This is why you gotta secure all those loose articles. All right, we got it. There they go. And when these things start going, you're gonna see them drifting. You gotta see if someone's uh, gets the hang of it. There we go. This guy's got it. The drift was kind of fun. You actually, uh, you feel it in full force. It was actually pretty awesome. Oh, she's got a good one right there. This kid's good. Wow. That kid right there. Catch it. Look at these guys over here. It was a short ride. It's very fun, though. It's uh, very amusing. It really uh, actually whips you quite a bit. Cool ride. Definitely check this one out. It's a... Uh, Probably one of the top three rides here so far that I've experienced. I would say number one is definitely the Dragon Coaster, but I would say maybe that might be a number two or three. I also got this very cool Pirates Playground. Looks like, oh yeah, it's open. Look at that. There's another one I haven't done yet, Splash Battle. We're gonna do this one next. These kids are just soaking people, including this really big kid here. This big, obnoxious kid. <laughs> All right, I'm going on by myself. Brian's staying behind. He's gonna get me soaking wet, and he says he's gonna get footage of me. But I think the real reason. Look at that. <laughs> but I think the real reason is he wants to get me soaking wet. I know. I know what. I know what he's trying to do. The ships just keep rolling through. They don't stop. You have to get on them while they're moving. Very efficient. This is a cool ride too. I like I like pirates. I'm glad that they opened this section, and uh, I'm wet, which is good because I'm cooled off now. So you guys are battling all the way to the end. Oh, he's gonna get me now. Oh, I forgot. I fell for my own trick. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's evil. This guy is evil. What about these guys? Are these nicer people? Are they gonna get me wet? I don't know. That lady looks suspicious. Oh, she is, and she's got suspicious kids too. Okay, so if it's not really hot out, you might not want to do this ride because you are going to get soaked. I can literally wring out my t-shirt. But it, I feel good right now. It's like 90 degrees, so it's perfect. So just met Colin. Colin's uh, camera shy, but uh, Colin is responsible for designing all the signs. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. I can't see. It's very sunny. Like the uh, Pirates uh, game back here. Uh, there it is. He designed that. Pretty cool. Okay guys, I'm with Sarah. Sarah, what do you do here at Legoland? I am the social media producer, so I'm always out in the park taking pictures and just watching guests have a great time. So you're, you're probably used to being on this side of the camera, right? I'm actually never used to being on this side. I'm always the one holding the camera and filming everybody else. So this, this, this time we got you. I know, look at it, here I am. Now Sarah's on camera. 
it's definitely feels different. <laughs> feels different for sure. Awesome. All right, we just met a lot of people here from Legoland. Brian gets like everybody's I'm like, I'm information. Like I'm like a human magnet. And I uh, just met uh, <laughs> Kirsten, which many of you have talked to already. I just met Wendy. Hello, yes. Oh wait, right here. Speaking right of Diablo, oh, look at them. This random. Oh, look at this. They're like yes. they're like Ninjago ninjas. We have these new uh -oh. Legoland oh, accessibility. Hey, guys cool. For, for guests. Awesome. And is that? That's not. The and I'll tell you what. This place is pretty accessible. It's all it's all uh, walkways. Oh, guys right here. oh, it's awesome. It has weight restrictions, height restrictions, age, um, accessibility for people in wheelchairs, yep, um, people who may have mobility issues, other kind of mobility cool. issues. Cool. Um, you have an extra one of these I could throw a PDF on? There is a PDF available on the website. You know what? I'm going to make this one. And look at this guy. He can fold a map. Yes, I can. You, you should you see the one from earlier. Throw, uh, if you look at, uh, I have to get another map. things to do. And then, <laughs> What is this, guys? Is this a giant Lego alligator or a crocodile? I don't know the difference. How do you tell? I'm actually originally from Florida, which is kind of funny. Haven't haven't lived there in a long time, <laughs> but that does not make me an expert. Look at this. It goes all the way from the front to the back. Is he complete or is he a half? He's a half. So look at this. These are real Legos, guys. These aren't these aren't fake. Someone built this. So Brian claims to know, of course, he knows everything, right? He thinks he knows what this is. What is it? All right, this is officially a crocodile. Why? Two reasons. Square snout, and if it closed its mouth, you'd be able to see its teeth from the side. If you see a smile, <laughs> it's a crocodile. Wow. Dude, square mouth? It's made out of Legos. <laughs> you can, you can, you can also just ask it. Square oh, it's snout. 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 Square. So That's you tell him what he talks if you ask him? Yeah. From here. You have to ask him from here. Yeah. Okay. I'm a crocodile. <laughs> well, it's about lunchtime here and we need to check out the newest place here to eat. That is of course Brickbeard's food market. Now I've never been in here before, so this will be my first time along with you guys. Thank you very much. Here we go inside. Gotta get these glasses off. Wow, it is dark in here. Oh my god, it smells terrific. Here's your drink options. Bottled water is gonna run you $4.50. Coca-Cola freestyle machine, five bucks. Looks like you get pizza here. Turkey club panini. Grilled cheese. They got salads. And even a small salad. Looks like they also have some of the Chinese items here. They get the orange chicken, sesame deep fried tofu, vegetable fried rice, beef and broccoli. And you can also get burgers here as well. Sorry about the light cutting this off. Fried chicken sandwich, California chicken sandwich. They got kids meal combos, which is like the perfect size for me. Now that most of the line is gone, I want to show you guys some of the food options here so you can actually see what they look like. There's the smash burger, the double smash burger. Chicken fingers. Of course the french fries. It looks like more burgers. Then you have the Asian section with the rice, the fried rice, the white rice, vegetables, chicken, it looks like beef. And then right over here they have the freshly made salads. And this is where we got the paninis as well. What'd you get? Panini, turkey panini. I think I got the same thing. Copycat. I was thinking about getting the grilled cheese, which you originally ordered and then you canceled the order. I did. It was on Texas toast, but it looks kind of small. I don't know. Next time. All right, here it comes. Look at that. Perfect. That looks delicious. Okay, a little pricey, $16.50 including tax, that's with a Coke. Yeah, a little expensive, but what does it taste like? Is it any good? That's really what counts. I wish this came with a side, no side, but got a good meal. All right, here's the panini. Very 
very good. A little, little thin. Could use a little bit more something to it, but it is. It is good. Ooh, bacon. And I know I quit, but I got one for today. Now, as far as beverages, you have two choices here. You have the soda cooler. If you want the bottled soda, it's bottled water. And then if we go off this way, they have the uh, refillable machines, which you have as well, uh, which are called freestyle machines, which are pretty cool. Some of these have up to 150 flavors. I'm not sure what these have here, but you guys can kind of see, get an idea. We've got some sodas that we don't normally see, like Mr. Kid, uh, Fanta Zero. So some cool options as well. If you go back this direction, you got some cakes. Looks like cupcakes, Rice Krispie treats, some chocolate chip cookies. This looks like some kind of cheesecake. There is a plain cheesecake. More cookies and cupcakes, and more ooey gooey marshmallow treats, which are my favorite. Now here's a new thing here, a la mode ice cream. This is supposed to be a big deal. I've never heard of them personally before. So I can't give you my recommendation. Maybe you guys can leave me in the comments below. Let me know if you guys had these, if they're any good or not. I don't see any prices over here, so I'm not sure. There's nobody uh, kind of manning this station or not. I think it's all self-service. Now, ironically, this is pirate themed, so you got the uh, pirate booty chips. Uh, you got some normal stuff, the M&Ms, the Butterfingers and Twizzlers. Cotton candy comes in a bag there, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Actually, just noticed this side as well. The candies four bucks, cotton candy four fifty, pound sodas five bucks, four fifty for a bottle, uh, bottle of water four, and a souvenir bottle uh, ten bucks. Of course, tax not included. The ambiance in here is pretty cool as well. It's all themed, of course. This might be Brickbeard himself. Is that a banana? We had a good lunch. Uh, we definitely recommend this place. Definitely over the pizza place. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's starting to drizzle. Brian, what did you think of lunch? Did you like Where the panini? Where did this come from? Oh, it was delicious. The panini was definitely better than the pizza. Very, very good. I would, the bread was delicious, the dressing. I am a ranch connoisseur. I approve of the ranch in there 100%. Yeah, he was dipping it in there. He probably paid extra for that. And there it goes. Yeah, this is why I don't do this one. Especially after lunch, it would not be a good idea. Well, it's looking like it's starting to rain here. It's been a wonderful day here at Legoland. It's starting to rain. He brought his umbrella. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thanks to Brian for hanging out with me today and um, wonderful day here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, uh, now the music, the musical fountain's working, of course, as these people are walking by. Uh, but I just want to throw on something quick here and uh, thank all the employees here. Uh, you guys were awesome today. And I, I figured I'd throw in a couple pictures of uh, some of the employees that hung out with us and gave us some information and were just super helpful. Um, as well as Brian, hung out with Brian today all day. Uh, we had a great time, uh, took a lot of pictures, had a, had a lot of fun. And uh, he had uh, a pass that allowed us to uh, skip the lines on one of the rides, so it was super cool. So just figured I'd throw this in, enjoy the pictures, uh, love all you guys, thanks so much for uh, watching, appreciate it.